All right, y'all want to replace the uh, the emblem. My emblem was already, uh, I already replaced it, but I'm gonna show you how to take it off. Pretty easy to do. Um, so you got a bolt right there, you got a little screw, goes right there. You also have one on the other side of it. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time right there. Just like that. Uh, just take the steering wheel, turn it like that when you take out the bottom one, then spin it. That way when the screw comes out, it comes out towards the ground. That way it doesn't fall inside the assembly. It's going to be a, uh, see what T is, a T27. All right. Once you got those out, next step to do is you got to take out this little plastic piece here. Let's see if I can show you. Right there. Just take a little screwdriver. That's the piece right there. Set that to the side. All right, now what you're going to do is you're going to uh, disconnect the battery. I'll walk around and show you how to do that. It's a 10 millimeter. I already took it off, but just take the 10 millimeter, loosen up the nut. You don't got to take it all the way out. Take, your, take the lug, put it to the side. Then disconnect this guy. Alright, so to disconnect this switch, you're going to take your finger and you're just going to push this black piece back. See how it moves? Yeah, so when they're connected, just pull that black piece back, disconnect it. That disconnects your airbag. Alright, next step, you're going to pull this sucker out. Now when you pull it out, you're going to see there's some... That yellow cable is retained. All right. Right there. Take that guy out. And then this assembly here. You're just going to slip that out of that guy. All right, there you have it. Now the airbag's completely loose. There's your assembly. All right. Now here's where a lot of people get a little uh, discouraged about how to uh, proceed forward. They don't want to. It just seems like it's a little bit too much work. Uh, you just got to drill these rivets out. As you can tell, I've already done this before. So they're different rivets. Yours will be black. This is actually really easy to do. Let me get you the tools. You're gonna take yourself an 1164 bit. You're gonna drill out the um, rivet. Let's see if I can get it to focus here. You'll see it start spinning, and as you're getting close. Don't get too crazy with it. And then you should be able to pop. You just work your little chisel or whatever in there. And then you'll also see it'll pop off. Make sure you get all those metal pieces out of there. That's going to be what it looks like. So those ends right there will be sticking out a little bit. 
So what we'll have to do, there's those, and then there's the ones that are going into the airbag area. If you look closely, let's see if I can get the light in there. If you look closely. Anyways, you don't want to go too far. See the end of the rivet in there? You don't want to hammer on that or push it in there too hard because then you'll scratch up the airbag. Uh, so just be careful while you're punching those through. It doesn't take much force. So I'm trying to punch those, the ends of the rivets off. I took the cap off, right? I took the end of the rivet off. So once I drilled and pried that off, you still have the other end of the rivet. So I gotta push those through. Take yourself a little screwdriver or something, put it in there. You can punch it right through. Now those are the easy ones, because there's nothing behind this. Now the, the ones where they go into the airbag, like these guys, you need to be way more careful while you're punching that through. Just be very gentle with it. Don't get crazy with it. So you can see what I'm doing here. Little tiny screwdriver going into what's left of the rivet. I'm just gonna punch it through. Not crazy, just enough for you to get, just enough for you to get the plastic over and out, oh, out and over it. I'm gonna do it to the other side now. Same thing. Don't get crazy with it because the airbag is going to be pushing back against your rivet. There you go. I'm through. Now this airbag will come out. Now, I want to ensure that these rivets that I punched through are accounted for. These two. The other two are going to stay retained inside this airbag area so I don't have to worry too much about those. So what I'll do is I'll take a little screwdriver. Nothing, nothing super small, just a regular screwdriver. I like to take it in here. Try it this way. Now you see the metal is over the rubber. And then I'll kind of like peel it up here. There's one rivet. The other one might be stuck in there. It's alright, we can get it out. So I'll pull out the rest of the airbag. There it is. Be very careful where you set this down. You don't want to mess it up. So put it on something soft, put it in a box, in a bag, something. I'm going to put it on a safer area away from the camera. Alright, so there's the one end of the rivet, right? That came out from the back and there's the other one that was laying in there. So... Might be a little tricky to show you, but you kind of have access right here. So I push the rivet in through there. You have a little access here. You can almost see the rivet hanging out in there. When I push it out, it's going to come out the bottom here. So I want to tilt it to where it'll fall out. See if I can do that on camera here. All right, there's one. And then I'm going to do the other side. This one I didn't actually punch it through the metal yet, all the way through, so let me get that guy going. Okay. Do the same thing here. Try to work that rivet out without damaging the airbag. As you can see, the rivet is now pushed all the way through. So now I need to pull the airbag away with my fingers. 
gently, very gently try to work this rivet out. Do not be forceful. It'll come out. You kind of just want it to fall out on its own. Let's see if you can see it up in there. You see it in there? Oh, there it is. Just fell out. Okay. Airbag is fine. No damage to the airbag. I sell these on eBay. There's your part number if you're curious. Well, it's backwards, but I'll, I'll list it on there. Alright. So if you notice, it's got all these teeth. These, uh, you know, they're going to punch through. They're going to go through the front here. They're going to stick out the back, and they're going to melt those down. Well, when you're taking them off, you got to cut those suckers off. So let me protect this emblem back again. They scratch kind of easily, so putting it away. And I like using a pair of uh, diagonal cutters. They're pretty low profile and real thin. We just get in here. You work your way under. And you're gonna clip them off one by one. See that? Alright, I'm just gonna continue on. I'm gonna clip them all off one by one. There's another one. So, so far, one, two. You see a lot of people prying on this thing and trying to get it out. Watch how easy it comes out. Once you have all those suckers cut off, it's just going to come right out. Make sure you have nothing in the holes. It's all clear. All right, next part's important. When you get the new emblem, and you put it on. I don't know if you remember me saying, they scratch up real easy. That's why I'm redoing mine again. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take tape, Tape, like this is painter's tape. This comes off real easy. I'm gonna take some painter's tape. This is not gonna be enough. One layer is not enough. Put another layer on it here. Now I'm gonna stick something on here to really protect this guy. You can use some, you can use a rag, one of these thick rags that they sell at O'Reilly's. Soaking up oil, use a microfiber towel. Use a sponge, I don't know. Use whatever you want. But you really want to protect this emblem because you just spent all this time to get it off and it's just going to scratch up. When you turn it over and you're putting this airbag back together and you're riveting it. So, make sure you have it protected really well. That's what I'm going to do this time. Alright. Super protected. Now, on the back end, you have all these rods now sticking out. You're gonna have to melt those down. I use a soldering iron. They sell this soldering iron on eBay. It's 
sell just about anywhere. Not that expensive, pretty cheap. I like using uh, this tip. Comes with a variety of tips. I'm gonna use this one to melt those posts down. So this is how it comes assembled. Then unscrew that collar, take this assembly off, drop the tip in. Collar. Slip it over. Tighten down your collar. And there's your tip. Ready to go. This runs off standard 115, so you don't need anything special. Comes with a little standing uh, standoff rod or standoff. Uh, block, I guess, whatever you want to call it. So that way, when it's heating up, you can just have it laying down. It's not going to melt any of the the plastic. It's not going to burn your wood. Whatever. Soldering iron took about literally 30 seconds to heat up. Uh, got a, the sponge a little wet here. So if you have any existing solder already on there, whatever, you just clean it off of that water. That's all you got to do. Nothing crazy. Now. I'm just going to melt these posts down. Watch how hard this is. Apply some pressure while you're melting it. Blow on it so it doesn't get all over your face. There you go, that's one rod. And just repeat for all these. Alright, I remember the intent of this plastic The intent of doing that, it kind of acts like a, uh, you know how a bolt and a nut retain something? Well, when this airbag explodes, what happens is this thing pops up, airbag comes out. You don't want this plastic emblem for some reason, you know, flying off while it's doing that action. So... When you melt these, if you're wondering, why do I have to melt those? What's the point of that? That's the reasoning. All right, turn your solder gun off. Let it cool off, clean it off. Clean it off with that little wet sponge. Let it cool off before you touch it. That thing is really hot. All right, now before, uh, before you go back to put the airbag in, Make sure you've blown out or removed all the little metal shavings that may have come from drilling those rivets out. You don't want any metal in there at all. You don't want any fragments of anything in there. No plastic, nothing. Make sure it's clean. All right, airbag time. When you put it in here, it's gonna wanna fight you a little bit. Remember how I had to pry it out? Make sure when you set it in, it's real kind of basic. I mean, it's not really much to go over here, but this plastic piece, remember, that plastic needs to be pulled up over the over the metal bracket. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. This corner of the airbag housing isn't catching the rubber. It's getting in the way. It's got a little ledge. That was preventing me right there. So just push that, push that back a little bit. 
and then you can work the airbag in. All right. Okay. So I got the rubber portion over. Airbag is sitting where it's supposed to be. So we are now good to proceed onto the riveting portion of it. The fun part. So, take this plate, All right, plate goes there, take yourself your rivet, alright, it's a 3 16 almost a half inch or so. Get yourself a backup plate. Look like washers. Same thing, you come in their own little box. Go through. And rivet time. So, trick to putting a, using a rivet gun is you're going to be putting pressure down on the head while you compress. It's going to take us a few times. Boom. Heat again. 3 sixteenths, a little bit less than a half inch, it's a one inch, one quarter inch grip length, put your plate on it, and go. you're going to go, let's, let me show you real quick, so you got the old metal piece, rubber, and the airbag, you got the rivet plus the backup plate, Put it into your hole there, and then rivet. All right. So that's what it's going to look like. Now you're going to do the ones on the side of the airbag. All right, there you have it. Two rivets there, one there, one there. This is it. And you'll thank me for protecting that emblem, trust me. So, I'm just gonna go put it back in the car. It's basically the same reverse order. All right. So reverse order, right? So let's get the uh, connector routed correctly. And go through here. And then out to the other end, and we're going to connect that guy. Alright. There's the routing. Got a little spot there for the wire, right? It's a clip. Make sure when you put this guy in, it's got a post on top. See that little... See that post right there? We'll put the post on there. Oh. That's how it sits in there. You're pretty much done at this point. You just got to put the airbag in now. All right. Once you feel like the airbag situated in the right spot, you'll feel it kind of, kind of sits in there in the right way. You're gonna have to hold it with your hand. Grab your bolt. Put the one in the bottom. All right. It's hard to see, but anyways, you'll see it. And then one on top. And then don't forget your plastic cover.
Make sure the switch is sitting in there right. There it is. All right, switch is in there right. It's clipped in. Let me put those screws in, and uh, you might want to put some Loctite on them if you got it. Looks like it has some sort of green Loctite. Blue Loctite will probably work. Pretty much any kind of Loctite, I think. All right, both bolts are in. Plastic cover. Done. All right, now all you gotta do is uh, reconnect the battery.